you don't need to spend countless hours on researching and crafting job descriptions, offer letters and formal email templates anymore. What if we told you that there's a tool that can help you create effective job descriptions, develop successful onboarding programs, automate document generation and even help match candidate profiles that are a right fit for a certain role? Say hello to ChatGPT, the revolutionary language model that's taking the modern HR world by storm. In this video, we'll introduce you to ChatGPT and explain what it is and how it works. You'll learn about the technology behind this powerful tool and how it can help you with everything from developing interview questions to gathering employee feedback. But that's not all. If you are interested in diving deeper into the world of HR with ChatGPT, we have got you covered. We offer a full course called ChatGPT for HR on our website Great Learning Academy that covers a wide range of topics including the role of AI in HRM and the usage of ChatGPT in creating templates for various HR documents such as job descriptions, offer letters, promotion letters and even employee feedback forms to improve retention as well as productivity. You'll also learn how to create an effective onboarding plan that sets your new hires up for success and much more. Check out the full course on our website by clicking the link in the video description below. And now, it is time for you to join us and say hello to your new HR assistant, ChatGPT, to discover how it can help you transform your HR processes. So let's dive in. ChatGPT is the ultimate chat companion which can help you inform about anything and everything. And today we will be learning about ChatGPT that's too in the field of human resource management. We'll be understanding what exactly is the role of AI when it comes to human resource management for any organization. And then we'll be understanding how we can leverage the power of AI through ChatGPT in the field of HR. So ChatGPT is an AI powered language model developed by OpenAI. Now you might ask what is OpenAI? OpenAI is a non-profit AI research organization which is founded with the goal of promoting and developing friendly AI in a way that benefits humanity as a whole. Now when you talk about OpenAI, there are a lot of technical leaders behind it including Elon Musk. It was developed I think in December 2015. It is based on the GPT that is Generative Pre-trained Transformer architecture and has been trained on a large corpus of text data to generate human-like text in response to prompts. You must have seen these chatbots. So when you think about chat GPT, it will behave just like a chatbot where you can put in a query and you will get the answers to all your questions. Right now we will be understanding, we will be visiting that particular tool and we will be seeing how we can leverage chat GPT in different areas, specifically in HR. So from sourcing top quality candidates to providing performance analysis and employee engagement suggestions, chat GPT can perform many tasks to make the job of an HR professional easier. Now imagine in the world of HR, if you think about HRs, if HRs or human resource managers will always be busy with operational tasks or technical tasks like managing the attendance or making the forms, they will never have the time to actually think about strategic part of things or transformational things where they can actually ensure that people are engaged, where they can actually ensure that people are satisfied and eventually those people will retain. They will never have time to do those things. But imagine a situation where a machine can take all the tactical works. In that case, HRs will have a lot of free time in terms of thinking about things which are more strategic in nature, aligning the people's goal and aligning the business objectives. All those things are extremely important. And that is why chat GPT is the talk of the town when we talk about the field of HR. It can help in the field of HR starting from sourcing top quality candidates to providing performance analysis to make survey forms to make sure that you have better employee engagement strategies to have good onboarding plan etc. We will be understanding all these details once we visit the tool that is chat GPT. So all you need to do is you just need to go to Google and type chat GPT. The very first link will lead you to this particular page. 
as you can see on your screen, all the things related to chat GPT are already mentioned here. So if you see here, it is giving you a few examples that what kind of questions you can actually ask chat GPT. Now let's take a few examples and try and understand the role of chat GPT. First of all, in creating effective job descriptions. So let me type a question and see how it can create a job description. Let's say for the position of product manager. So as you can see, if I type create a job description for the position of product manager and I type enter, it will generate response for me. As I can see, it is already giving me job title, location and it is telling me that you can insert your location here, job type, job summary, it is talking about the responsibilities. I have not talked about any of these things. All I have said is that create a job description for the position of product manager and it is giving me a job summary. It is also telling me the responsibilities and if you see all these responsibilities are not generic. Those are very, very specific to this particular role of product manager that I asked about. For example, conduct user testing and gather feedback to iterate on product design and functionality, develop and execute go to market strategies. I never mentioned GTM strategies. I never mentioned about the go to market strategies, but it is still picking up hints and it is giving us results based upon the large corpus of text data that it is built upon. Develop and manage product budgets. It is also talking about the requirements, five plus years of experience. So it gives us requirements. Now, if you want to change and let's say you want to make it two plus years, you can always change those details, right? It is also talking about experience with agile development methodologies and product management tools such as Jira, Confluence. We offer a competitive salary and everything it is mentioning. Let me ask ChatGPT if it can create an onboarding program for the new hires in my organization. So if I type in this query that can you create an onboarding program for the new hires in the organization, it gives me all the results such as here's a sample onboarding plan for the new hires in an organization. It is talking about day one plan, what exactly we can do on day one like welcome meeting, all of that meet with managers, introductions to team members and key stakeholders, tour to the office and facilities. Then it is giving me a week one plan, company orientation, training sessions, meeting with cross-functional teams to gain a broader understanding of the organization. It is giving me month one plan and it is also giving me quarter one plan. So that's a very exhaustive list that I have and definitely I can use it. I can use it as a template and make changes it which are more relevant to me. So this is just a sample onboarding plan or program and actual onboarding programs may vary based on company size industry specific job requirements. It's important to tailor the program to the needs of the organization and the individual new hires to ensure a successful onboarding plan. But this particular template can be a great launching point when we are creating an onboarding plan for the new hires in the organization. Now let me ask chat GPT to modify this onboarding plan for the new hires in one specific team. Let's say the sales team who will be working from home. So there are two more information that I'm going to give like it is for the sales team and second it is for the people who are going to work from home. So let's see what are the changes it can make in this particular onboarding plan. So if I type in this query, I get a modified onboarding plan for new hires in the sales team who will be working from home. Here's day one that is welcome video call. So if you see here, it was uh, if you go back to the previous question, it says that welcome meeting with HR, but it has now picked up the information that those people will be working from home. So now it is suggesting that welcome video call with HR to complete paperwork and discuss company policies and benefits. Video call with manager, introductions to team members, virtual tour of the company's internal tools and systems. It is talking about week one plan. It is also talking about month one plan. And all those things are related specifically to the sales team and specifically to people who will be working from home. Let's ask chat GPT if it can help us create some questions related to the role for a product manager. So if you type in this query, it gives you some sample questions that can be asked to a candidate applying for the position of a product manager. For example, can you tell us about a successful product you have launched in the past and what your role was in that particular process? How do you stay up to date with industry trends and changes in customer needs? Or how do you incorporate user feedback into product development? Can you give an example? Or can you tell us about a product or feature that you wish you had developed but did not? Why didn't you pursue it? All those are different questions that you can ask the product manager. But let's say you feel that these questions are good, but these are not very technical in nature and you want to add more technical questions to this list. So let me ask chat GPT that I need more technical questions 
and I type in that query. Let's see what are the answers that we are going to get. Sure, here are some more technical questions that can be asked to a candidate applying for the position of a product manager. Now, if you see the nature of these questions is much more technical in nature, such as what experience do you have with user experience design? How do you ensure that user experience is a priority throughout the product development process? Or you take number six, how do you collaborate with engineering teams to ensure technical feasibility of product features and enhancements? Or you take number 10, can you walk us through your experience with product analytics tools and how you use them to inform product decisions. This is again a great example. So let's see how ChatGPT can give us a template for the offer letter for one particular position. Let's take the same example of a product manager. So how can ChatGPT create a template for the position of a product manager? So as you can see on screen, here's a template for an offer letter for the position of product manager. So it is typing the dear candidate name, we are pleased to offer you the position of product manager at this and this company. We believe your skills, experience and passion for this and this field and that can make you an ideal candidate for this role. It is mentioning a few responsibilities and it is also mentioning that we would like you to start on this and this date and the position will report to this and this particular supervisor name. And all the details which are necessary for an offer letter are actually mentioned over here. But let's say you're not very happy with this and you want to make it much more detailed. So you can again type in, can you make it more detailed? And let's see what are the changes that you can see in this particular template for an offer letter for the position of product manager. Okay, so now that you can see, so in the previous one, there were no details related to address, etc. But here you can see the applicant name, address, city, state, zip code etc all those things are mentioned over here and even the responsibilities the thankfulness part everything is mentioned in a much more detailed way and you can use this as it is uh, by making a few changes which will make it more 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 and more relevant for your particular organization so now you can see the clear difference that it is much more detailed when compared with the last one even the responsibilities are much more detailed which are mentioned in this particular offer letter now let's say there's one section that you feel is missing. You can take any section, let's say the section related to termination condition and you want to include that. So you can again mention, can you also highlight the termination conditions in the above template? and you can expect results related to the same. So here's an updated offer letter template that includes termination conditions. So here you can see that all the details which were uh, required are still here, but there will definitely be certain details which will be mentioned related to the termination. So you can see that please note that your employment with company is at will, meaning that either you or the company may terminate your employment at any time with or without cause or notice. In the event of termination, you will be entitled to receive pay and benefits earned up until the date of termination. So that's again a great way if you want to highlight any any other section you can again type in that information and you can get results related to the same. Similarly let's say you want to get the template for some other document let's say some certificate. Let's say there were a lot of interns in your organization and now they have completed their internship and you need to provide them the internship completion certificate and you don't have a template for that. Rather than going searching and trying different things, you can just come to chat GPT for one solution and you can ask it to generate a template for a letter of recommendation or a certificate for your interns. So if you add, let's say, can you also generate a template for the internship completion certificate? Certainly, here's a template for an internship completion certificate. Company logo, this certificate is awarded to this and this person for the successful completion of this internship at this and this company from this date to this end date. During this internship, this person has demonstrated exceptional skills in this and this area. Their contribution and hard work have been valuable to our organization and we wish them all the best for their future endeavors. So you can see that all the details are mentioned over here. Similarly, if you want to, let's say, have a letter of recommendation, create a template for an LOR as well. And you type in that query and you will be getting a letter of recommendation template too. 
Here's a template for a letter of recommendation and all the details are mentioned over here. Recipient name, the person who's receiving it, etc. I am writing this letter of recommendation for this and this purpose at this and this organization. I have had the pleasure of working with this person for this duration. All the details which are required in a letter of recommendation will be mentioned over here. Similarly, if you want to generate any other type of document, let's say you want to generate a promotion letter uh, for a person, let's say the same product manager, let's say he is promoted to the role of senior product manager. How exactly can you de design a promotion letter? We can do the same as well. So as you can see, we type in the query that can you create a template for the promotion of a product manager to the role of a senior product manager. Here's a template for promotion of a product manager and we get it right here that I'm writing to inform you of your well-deserved promotion to the role of senior product manager. Effective and the date you can mention as per your needs and your organization leads, whatever changes you want to make to make it more and more relevant for yourself, you can do that. But definitely it can help you create all these different templates that you can definitely use. Now we'll see how ChatGPT can help us in gathering that employee feedback. Can it help us create some feedback forms that we can circulate within the organization? Well, the answer to that question is yes. Let's see how ChatGPT can design a survey to collect feedback from the employees of a company. So if you type in this query, you can easily see that it is going to give us an example of a survey to collect feedback from employees. So the first question is, how satisfied are you with your current role in the company? And there are five options like very satisfied, somewhat satisfied, neutral, somewhat dissatisfied or very dissatisfied. Then how satisfied are you with the company culture and work environment? How satisfied are you with communication within the company? How would you rate the level of recognition you receive from your work? Or how satisfied are you with the opportunities for career growth and development? and different types of questions are there with similar type of uh, answers. But let's say you don't like the fact that all these questions are very quantitative in nature with only five options. You want to add a few questions which are very, very open-ended, just like the ninth one that is there anything else you would like to share about your experience working with the company? So if you ask, suggest a few open-ended questions that can be added to this form, the answer is here. How do you think the company can improve its communication with employees? Or are there any benefits or policies that you feel are missing or could be improved? Or are there any areas of training or professional development that you would like to see offered by the company? And you can actually see all these questions. So now we have got clarity that chat GPT is definitely very, very important tool when it comes to HRM. Starting from creating job description to finding some catchy lines for your email subjects, we can use chat GPT in this particular field. So I hope you have understood the usage of chat GPT in the field of HR and I hope you will be using it going forward in your journey. Thank you so much for attending this course. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I'll respond to your comments.